Hey there, this is Stacy. I hope everyone's having a great day. I am back today with another haul video for you. It kind of seems like people really like haul videos, so uh, because I'm such a fabulous shopper, I have a lot of these um, haul videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is stuff I've picked up in the last few weeks, and the first thing being the foundation that I'm wearing today. This is that new CoverGirl one. It's called the CoverGirl and Olay um, Facelift Effect. Um, foundation. Um, I'm wearing it for the first time today actually and I'm hoping that it really gives me a facelift effect. Um, okay, first things first. It only comes in four different colors. I am medium, which is actually the darkest color that they have and it's not very dark, I don't think, for a medium. Um, it just comes in this little pot like this and it's just um, just sort of a, a little bit like a whipped sort of a mousse product and I do not like the way this is packaged because I have to scoop it out. Um, I put it on the back of my hand and then work from there so that I'm not contaminating everything by dipping back and forth with my brush. And I did use the Sephora 55 airbrush to put it on. Um, just kind of a nice light application and I do like the way it applies. I like the way it looks on my skin initially so we will see how it wears throughout the day. So again, that CoverGirl and Olay um, lifting effect or facelift effect. I picked this up. I ordered it online. It's from Benefit. It's the new Their Real Push Up Liner. I have not even opened it yet. I'm sure you guys have seen this a bunch online already. Let's see here. I got something from Clinique. I had ordered this online as I'm always on my search for the best lip balm, which I am still loving the new Sephora one that I showed recently. Um, just a little Sephora lipstick looking one, $5 at Sephora, a hydrating lip balm. It works great. But I also picked this up from Clinique and it's the Repair Wear Intense Lip Treatment. And this one's kind of interesting. Um, it actually has a little bit of a color to it and it's got, you know, the hydrating and correcting sort of properties in it. So. What the heck? Uh, thought I'd pick it up. I just ordered it online actually. And you can see here, or maybe you can't. It does have like a little bit of a tiny bit of a pink tinge to it. You put it on and it kind of just goes on clear. I picked a product up on HSN, I think it was HSN. And this is by PRAI Prey Ageless. It's their throat and decollete cream. I haven't even opened it yet. It came with a free scarf. Just something new to try for the neck and decollete area. So I'm hoping that that works. Um, I think I'm okay here as far as wrinkles and all. My one problem area that I think I have is right here. Um, and you can't really tell, obviously, because my chin kind of blocks that area. But right here, I just get a little bit of a crepiness or a little bit of a wrinkling. Um, perhaps that's what they call that turkey neck thing that I'm not looking forward to and will fight every step of the way. So anyway, I picked that up to see how that works. I got some Cetaphil wipes. If you guys use Cetaphil cleanser, um, I did a long time ago. I use CeraVe now, the hydrating one, but um, Cetaphil came out with these wipes, um, just the cleansing cloths for makeup removal and all, and they're for sensitive skin. And so I got those and you bought this one and you got the little free travel size one, which is kind of cool because I will be traveling. Let's see what else. I picked up a deodorant that my friends here on YouTube had recommended to me. And this one is from Certain. It's the Certain Dry Clinical Strength Antiperspirant Roll-On. Um, just kind of feeling like with this heat and humidity that I am feel like I'm a little bit smellier than normal. And so I've been trying different ones. That Donna Karen Cashmere Mist is fabulous. I don't love, love, love the scent of it, but that's okay as long as it keeps me from smelling, um, which it really has been. So I tried this. I have, I need to try it some more. I've kind of leaned toward the Donna Karen one just because I know it works so well for me. But this one, what I don't like about it is that when you put it on, it's wet and there is nothing worse to me than that wet feeling under your armpits like you have to wait for it to dry you know you're kind of spray and then you're sort of fanning and waiting for it to dry so i'm going to try it some more and see if i like it any better like i said i've just kind of gone straight to that donna karen one because it has been so good okay here's something from stila that i picked up and i ordered these online because someone had shown i think it was on nouveau cheap i think she showed on her instagram that they were having a big sale on uh, the stila website 
So I picked up two of these. I love them. Um, they're the Stay All Day, I think is what it's called. Yeah, the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And so this is the first one that I got, and it is in the color um, Bellissimo. It looks like this. And when I look at it in the package, it's beautiful. And when I looked at it online, it was beautiful. But when I put it on my lips, I hated it. So there's the first one. It just kind of comes off as a light, pale, peachy color. And it just looks like, I don't know, almost like that, like a matte nail polish that you would put on your nails. That would look great on your nails, but on my lips, it looked terrible. So that one was a little bit of a fail, but it was only $5. I did get some makeup wipes from Stila too, but I forgot to put them out here. Then I got this hot pink one, and it is in the color, I believe it says Fiore. Fiore, F-I-O-R-E. And it's a real pretty uh, magenta fuchsia pink color. And this one I really do like. And there's that one. And these are those long-wearing kind. I have another one that's kind of in sort of like more of a, a neutral, uh, like sort of figgy plum color that I really like. So I thought for $5, I'd give a couple more a try. So I had a, a good one and a bad one in the batch there. From Red Apple Lipstick, I had gotten two of their lipsticks in the past. I got Rebel and Petal, Petal Pusher. And so I wanted to try one of their lip, um, lip glosses, and I picked up another lipstick. So the lip gloss is a mint to be, and so they're minty ones, and it's almost like that double mint gum kind of minty um, kind of scent fragrance, um, and I think it maybe kind of tastes like it too. And I'm trying to read the color here. Uh, buried Treasure is the color that I got, and it's just a pretty berry pink color, and it doesn't really give off too much color. It's just right here. I was hoping it would give more, um, but it doesn't. But now my closet here smells all like um, peppermint. Yeah, no, spearmint, I'm sorry. To me, this is more of a spearmint smell. And I know a lot of people are sensitive to that kind of thing, but I am not, and so I got that. And then lastly, I did get a lipstick from them, and this one is Ready or Not, R-E-D-D-Y, Ready or Not, and it is a real... So you can see here, that's a real pretty pinkish red color. It's not too deep and it does have a little bit of a sheer factor to it and then you can build it up by putting on multiple layers so there's that and that isn't what I'm wearing today but um, there it is there I've just kind of been into these red sort of shades lately uh, this one that I have on I had shown recently in my Mimi box video and it's by Hope Girl and I don't remember the color but I love it and said I'd be sporting it a lot and here it is already then lastly this is not a beauty product in any way shape or form this is something that I picked up on Amazon and I actually did a whole lot of research before I purchased it and this is called the Jackery I want to say it might even be called the Jackery Plus it's this one here that's I don't know what it's the size of um, I don't know it's probably maybe three by five at the biggest and um, it's a little bit has a little bit of a weight to it and what you do is you use the USB cord you plug it in your computer or any other USB charger and you charge this up overnight and then you're charged for a good very many hours and when you might run out of battery power on your iPad or your iPhone or any other kind of phone that has a USB um, charger you have two chargers here and you can charge two devices at the same time and if anyone ever runs out then you have this uh, while you're traveling and I will be traveling a bunch for the rest of the month so I thought this would be a good thing to have for myself and the family so again it's Jackery and again I did my research to kind of find out what some of the best devices were and this one was maybe forty dollars or so and I think that's very reasonable price and uh, I just ordered it on Amazon I believe so there's that and lastly sorry about this crazy hair I got going on today I slept on wet hair and um, haven't straightened it because I'm going to exercise so I didn't want to waste my time um, straightening it or doing anything else to it so you guys got wild hair with me here today so I hope everybody's having a fabulous day I hope everyone had a great 4th of July holiday and I will see you all again soon if you have any questions let me know thanks so much for watching bye